Hi, my name's Joe. I'm Jordan. We're here with the Pragus out Winter Outfitting Department. Uh, we kind of help orchestrate things here in the winter time when the snow flies. Uh, today we'll be doing a little how-to video of how to set up our, our winter wall tent. Uh, this is the Outfitter tent from Snow Trucker. It's the larger of the two tents that we rent. It is 10 by 15 feet and it weighs about 40 pounds. In whole, packed up. This is about the size we'll be looking at, about 35 inches by 13 inches in diameter, give or take, depending on who packed it. Started by opening things up here. So you'll have a bag that has all the poles and accessories. Ground tarp. And that's the tent itself. So for starters, set off the tent body away from the work area. A lot of different moving pieces here. Uh, are these shock corded poles? They are. They are. They won't fall apart in the middle of the frozen tundra. So you'll have a bunch of these with the shock cords. That's going to form the frame for your tent. You'll set it up like an A-frame. So we have four legs with white rubber end caps. Those will all be touching the ground. We have this pole here with no white end caps. That is because this is the ridge pole. So these little hubs here connect all the poles and one of them is longer. This part goes into the ridge pole, that top one. Like that, and then the other two go on your end pole. So when you have the canvas stretched over the poles, each corner has a little pocket here that you want to slide the pole into. So this red piece is a piece of little fire retardant Kevlar material. As you can see, there's a hole going through there. Uh, that's where the, the stove piping comes out. Ideally, in the winter time, we're going to have snow. So this is that's how you're going to be able to guide the lines out. Uh, this time of year, on hard gravel, we're not able to, to have an anchor point. But essentially, you're just going to want to pull them tight. And these bring out the side walls of the tent, and give, maximizing the room inside. Okay. So you would anchor that either into the ice, uh, into the snow. And what's a dead man anchor? A dead man anchor is simply a log or a piece of firewood uh, that you put on top of the rope and then you bury that in the snow and then you'd come up here and tie a trucker's hitch on and be able to cinch that in. Okay. So that, that allows you to have an anchor point uh, using no stakes. Uh, so there will be 12 of these little poles. So the other side is set up the exact same way and then you'll have four of these and these just snap right into these little grommets here like this there's one here and there's another one down at the base so, so those provide just... additional support to your anchor lines exactly okay yep so then you do that all around so three on this side three on that side and then there's another little gold pole here which goes on the end opposite the door and this just goes in the same way the ones did on the side there. So, so through that little pocket, through there, and then through the other pocket. And then you would just tie this one out. Okay, so let's take a peek inside. So we got a zipper on the door. A vent up top here. So right now, as you can see, it looks pretty narrow in there. Um, that, is, that is because we do not have the sidewalls guide out. 
normally that would look rather different. So pull that wall out a little bit. You want to go to the middle, Jim? Oh yeah, so then you really... There's enough space in here to sleep how many? Uh, up to six if you're using sleeping pads. If you're using the standard army cots, probably closer to four. Okay. 